You're live. You are. Yeah, so we both are. Wow, it's um, looking bright back there. That's good. Is That's it good? good? That's good to look bright. Yeah, so. Um, well, welcome to our channel. Welcome to our channel. Um, we have a giveaway that we're happening this month. We have some <coughs> giveaways we're going to give out today. Um, who? What are we going to give away today? Um, so today, we like to give away stuff. So that's what um, a big part of our show is, is giving away stuff. Today, we're going to be giving away two cases of frog tape. Um, each person will win a case of frog tape. I mean, tape sure. is hard to come by. And it's so going to be two winners. It's going to be miscellaneous because uh, they sell a lot yeah. of different products. Yeah, so they're going to give um, – uh, Sure Tape is going to give us um, a case of miscellaneous frog tape products to I give to – that's the right word. It's a – like a combo pack. Combo what's pack. A better, what's the better I don't know. Hmm. Um, it's going to be frog tape. So, yes. and frog tape is awesome. So, um, we're two two winners of frog tape. I think we're giving away some Aquacoat. And what's Aquacoat for? So, Aquacoat is a is an awesome product for um, getting rid of wood grain, like in oak cabinets. So, Aquacoat is providing some Aquacoat giveaway today. And, and we did a giveaway last month. And so, so we're going to announce the winner. So last month's big giveaway is was a Titan sprayer. So a Titan ED 655. And would they use that sprayer with Aquacoat? Like, um, um, like well, Aqua, guess... you wouldn't spray Aquacoat. No, you wouldn't spray it. On, yeah. But, um, that type of sprayer is a lot of people use it for cabinets. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people use them um, that use lacquers for spraying cabinets. So it's pretty popular. So that's um, we're give that's going to be announced the winner of that. And then this month coming up, we're giving away some of the big every month. So this month we're giving away a paint line PSDR cabinet painting full system. So that full setup, and that's like a five hundred dollar value. So that's going to be given away. It's so more um, than that because tax, and, tax and, and shipping and all that. So uh, and if you don't know, the only way to enter to win you know, our big giveaway is um, the easiest way to find it is go to our a Facebook page and you'll find the link. If you scroll through there, you can go to Paint Life members. The link is there. Instagram, the link to enter to win is in our Instagram profile. So there's, there's a lot of different um, places you can go to find where you can enter. So that's um, Paint Life supply codes big giveaway so so today is i think the ninth and we're just doing the giveaway from last month why why did it take us nine days so we've been gone and so our oldest daughter had her um first child so it's our first grandchild so we've been gone um visiting with them so um that's been an awesome amazing experience so kind well, of cool somebody came into the store today and they asked me about it and i was saying that having kids is amazing but to see your baby have a baby there's like no words it's even and more amazing my girls my two other girls heard me say that and they came up and they were pretty offended they're like you're saying it's better than us <laughs> <laughs> it's like so, no you don't understand it has nothing to do with better than you it's just you don't understand until you have yeah, it happen to you yeah that's totally true so um, so what's your opinion of having plastic wall spray dry area with issue of static? Have you heard to not use it? Um, having plastic wall spray dry area with issues of static. I've never heard. I've Don't never, know what that is. I'm not sure what he's specifically talking about. So, so Joe Camacho says, congratulations. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. It's so that was a um, huge blessing. Huge blessing. Child was super healthy and um, just a little boy. So that's awesome. So cool. So um, our store that we own is Paint Life Supply Co. And mm -hmm. they're the ones that are giving away the spray rack. But every week we have um, discounts or deals yeah. or sales, something like that. What is the sell this week? So the hats, um, ten dollars off the Paint Life hats. It has to be Paint Life. So the Paint not, Life hats. Not Team TNR. Team TR. Not uh, them. Paint so, Life hats. And then the Lindbite scrapers are on sale. Lindbite scraper, buy a scraper and you get three blades. That's a pretty killer deal. How long do those blades last? It just depends on how you use it. Uh -huh. If you use it and abuse it and um, hit nails, you could wear it out fast. If you use it right, things will last a long time. So the Lindbite scraper is a tool that every painter should have. Period. Okay, so, so 
if they are interested in that, they could go to our store. Mm -hmm. And I think I wrote down the the Limbide scraper. You just type in the discount code Blade. Yeah, so our Blade. two younger daughters, McKenna and Afton, help. Um, McKenna is the customer service manager, and then Afton's the procurement specialist. So they're a big part of running our store. So that's kind of cool. So um, are you going to give away anything right now? Yeah, I was okay, looking at some, at yes, some, of, the, some of the questions. So I think this person is going to get a um, case of, what is it? Like, I can't think of the right word, like miscellaneous combo pack of plug tape. It sounds fine. Okay. I'll, I'll go with that. Okay. So, um you're searching for somebody. We got a question or somebody just made a comment. Use bin primer shellac base. Um, so you don't have to sand cabinets that are um, lacquer based or um, stained. And bin shellac primer is an amazing primer, kind of a cure all if you run into any type of um, fish eye problems. Uh, every single time I've ever run into that contamination issues and, um, and the result is fish eye shellac. A, a true shellac based primer like Ben is um, will always resolve it. It's absolutely amazing. We always keep bomb cans of Ben um, primer. And so anytime we run into it, every, I think every single set of kitchen cabinets I've ever painted, um, at least one door will have some type of fish eye issue. So we just use a bomb can, hit the fish eye with the bomb can, and then away you go. So most of the products I use don't um my top coats don't require a primer on um, my sand first and then i add and then i'll put two top coats on and i'm done but if you want to prime and start off with a primer ben schlack primer is a great primer to start off with so a uh, product by zinzer zinzer makes across the board amazing products so so there's people with us but there's not a lot of chatting going on so i'd like to hear why anybody would want a case of I mean, you need tape. a case of tape. I mean, does anybody want a case of tape? Tape is expensive. Like a, a roll of frog tape could be like eight bucks, nine bucks. And who, um, who doesn't need a case of that? So I could use a case. Yeah. Always I have tons of frog tape. Um, yes. I, I, let's see. What primer do you use over lacquered wood cabinets? So I think we were just talking about that. That's um, ben, Ben Shellac primer is, is an awesome primer over, um, lacquer cabinets. I always, um, highly recommend sanding. So I, I sand first and I sand, um, with a 220 grit I'm using the Ekasan three by four sander. And so I'll lightly sand everything. If I was in a prime, then I would prime. Um, and then I would shoot my top coats but in between coats. I sand with a 320 grit. So I'm using, typically using Eka Silk or Film Tech from um, Unita, who makes the, the Eka Sand 3x4 sander. So um, Joe Camacho, he says necessity and I want, and he said hi earlier and he said um, something about a grandma. So Joe, you're our first winner tonight. You're going to get a case of miscellaneous. I, I think I'm, I'm probably in the middle of the night. I'll remember how to say it better, but a combo pack of different frog tape. And so how would he get it, Joe? Um, so, so if you go sure. to our website, we have a little chat icon and that's how you can get customer support. We're really big into, you know, supporting our customers that come to our support or come to our store. And so you just get on that chat icon. It actually uh, sends us messages right to our phone and, you know, just get on there, say what you want. We'll verify that you're the winner. And then we will send you um, a gift card to, or no, <laughs> no. We'll, we'll, we'll ask you what, for your address. Yeah, we're gonna have and to then, get we're gonna have to get your mailing address. Yeah, and um, once we get that, then we'll um, get get it mailed to you. So somebody asked if um, the Linbite scraper can be added to um, attached to an extension pole. Uh, the current Linbite scraper cannot be added to an extension pole, but we are. I um, was sent a couple test models that you you can screw on an extension pole so hopefully that's going to come you know in the near future so um look out for that i mean who does it need a scraper um attached to an extension pole i think that's um kind of like the kind of important yeah it's kind of like the um the brush the um the brush that screws onto an extension pole. So, so, so we are going to give away um, two quarts of aqua coats to two different people. So if anybody has some oak cabinets or something, they want to fill some grain, 
And if you haven't tried it or want to try it, let us know because that's how I'm going to pick a winner today. So somebody um, made a comment there, um, Chris, um, Chris, um, J. Bo, um, 90, he made a comment that um, he's happy we sell Tri-Tech tips, so that we're one of the few places that sell them. So I personally, I've done a lot of testing, a lot of using of uh, um, airless spray tips over 20 some years, 25 years, something like that. And in my, um, in my opinion, I think Tri-Tech makes the best fine finish tips there are now. And um, so if you haven't tried Tri-Tech, I highly recommend you use Tri-Tech. And I, um, for spraying cabinets uh, with the coatings I use, I like a 206 and a 306 for spraying cabinets. And I don't think there's anything better than a Tri-Tech tip, you know, right now. So, so we're gonna be giving away aqua coats. Do you have any tips on how to apply aqua coats? Like any? You know what's, what's interesting any? with aqua coat? Um, uh, Bondo, the Bondo is a set of plastic spreaders for Bondo. Um, we actually sell that at the Paint Life Supply Store. Those things are absolutely amazing for just spreading on. And you're just skimming on um, super thin coats. Uh, it's amazing. You can put um, aqua coat on with a credit card. So I've used, um, I have a whole set of um, different types of spreaders that I use to put it on with. Um, on profiled areas, you can smear it on with your fingers. It's water-based, it dries fast, it sands easy, but get yourself a set of plastic scrapers. I, I have, um, you know, I, I have an old credit card I use, um, the Bondo spreaders I use, I have um, a, um, tint tool a tint um thing that for getting bubbles out of tinting i use that it's a three, little 3m tool that i use and then i um take it's kind of interesting i take one of those uh things for you put on paint cans that um that for the pore spout for a paint can and i cut those to form different shapes to use um aqua coat because yeah. it's a really thin plastic and it it's a formable bendable plastic and so i usually have a couple of those that i cut those are like spread. 99 cents on the store yeah they're like 99 cents so vincent says he uses old gift cards um there you go so um weight metalhead said just want to say i love your videos and want to say that command paint from benjamin moore is the best for painting cabinet doors god bless so did you just get some command? I finally got a hold of some command. So I've heard a lot about it and I've heard rave reviews about it. I've started doing some research. What is this stuff? And um, what um, one of the things I heard from somebody, it's kind of interesting that it's um, almost identical or similar to um, XIM's um, cabinet code, I think, um, or... It's still, um, Insulex, Insulex, Insulex cabinet code. Yeah. So, um, so it'll be interesting to, you know, test it out. Um, I, um, I'm very excited to give it a try. I also hear it's very similar to PPG breakthrough. And I think PPG breakthrough is, that's been the best test in our house. We it's, have, it's probably one of the best, um, products that I've ever used in um for a front door yeah and so I I we have a, a a double opening front door that was very expensive custom made and it was made out of um vinyl and it has like this very fine wood grain on it and I was very afraid of putting something too thick on it that would um you know fill in that wood grain um kind of just and i was very concerned to be in vinyl getting something that would stick to vinyl and um then we got multiple dogs coming in and out high traffic doors just really worried that it was going to scratch the vinyl would get messed up and i think how long has it been on there now a couple years yeah three years. three years three years not a scratch on the door um it's vinyl dog scratching on the door all the time it hasn't need to be repainted it's washable i've scrubbed it with dawn dish soap it, it washes and i don't think there's anything i've ever put on trimmer doors that's more durable than pbg so i love when he does projects and so i always volunteer my house for testing testing products and so i'll volunteer my house yeah. again to do command but now we have a new test with Rainy. So yeah. we have our daughter's dog staying with us right now. So, and it's called the Rain Test. So so one of, yeah, one of the, the great things about testing these products in my own house is I could 
observe how it performs over time. So I have used PBG Breakthrough in the past on customers' doors, front doors, and I haven't had the opportunity to go back and look and see how it's performed. Mine, I get to see it on a daily basis. I know the abuse it takes from the dogs scratching on it with their sharp nails. And um, a PPG breakthrough can actually be used on floors. It specifically said what, where I got confident, it specifically said you can use it on vinyl. So it'll bond to vinyl. Um, you can put it on concrete. You can use it for trim. I do hear, I've never tried to brush it, but I hear that it doesn't brush very well. But I'll tell you, it sprays absolutely amazing. So I was um, happy with it. And if command is anything like breakthrough, then... Um, I'll end up giving it rave reviews, but I've got it. I'm going to be testing it pretty soon. So we'll see how it goes. So works. some people said that they wanted to try aqua coats, um, would love to try aqua coats too. And so let's see, um, which one just said that it's E U N I C O M E U N I C O M E U N I C O M E U N I C O M. You want a quart of aqua coats. How are they going to get it? So go to our um, store, paintlifesupply.com. Go down in the chat icon. That's where you chat with us. It goes right to our phone. Um, tell us what you want. We'll verify that you're the winner and we'll get you your product. So we'll get aqua coat to send you, you know, what you want. So that's kind of cool. Be able to give it a test. Um, I absolutely love the stuff. I've used it a lot. So, so this guy said, hey, I have a question. Um, for anyone painted a front door a year ago, wood with Dunn Edwards exterior paint, the good stuff. And a month later, it started to blister and fade in random areas. Do you know what would cause that? Uh, fading in random areas is kind of interesting. Um, blistering could be related to moisture, you know, issues. Um, he said it doesn't get direct sunlight and no sprinklers or anything hits it. Yeah, that's kind of, um, I would be concerned about a paint failure. But um, especially, why would it be fading if it doesn't get direct sunlight? That's kind of interesting. I, and paint mix? I know, like, because I've always used on exteriors, I've used um, high end products on, you know, um, all of our exteriors we've already done, always done. And we always use lifetime warranty coatings and, and um, specifically some from Sherman Williams. And there was one product um, that we used resilience and they had a paint failure with it on dark colors. And, um, and we had to go back and repaint the customer's house. I think two years later because of a paint failure with it. And it does happen occasionally. Rare. Paints, um, it's rare, but paints do fail, but uh, blistering, you know, if there was any type of moisture, you know, in, um, on the substrate itself, when you painted it, that could cause, you know, blistering issues. Um, there could be outgassing of on the substrate, something underneath. There could be a reaction with it, one coating going over the top of the another coating. I've seen that's caused, um, you know, blistering. There was somebody, you know, here that um, micro bubbling is talking about micro. Yeah, bubbling. that's what my next too, thing. So. What causes teeny tiny micro bubbles when using the airless sprayer? Is it low temperature? So I actually had. Um, I've had a lot of people ask that question in the past and I never experienced it. And probably about six months ago, I experienced it when spraying cabinets and um, it was very frustrating. And so I was getting a micro bubbling on it and, you know, I, I checked my paint, make sure you're not stirring your paint, um, creating bubbles in the paint. But what I eventually um, diagnosed it at, I started adjusting the distance that I was spraying and um, the pressure I was spraying at. And I increased my pressure a little bit on my airless sprayer. I cl um, closed the distance to my spray gun to, you know, the, the doors I was spraying and it eliminated the micro bubbles. And the only thing I can think is the distance I was too far away and it was allowing the coating to um, create micro, bu micro bubbles because it's going through the atomization process, going through the gun and the tip, and it was getting micro bubbles in the air I was hitting, as it was hitting the surface because there was too, um, too large of a distance between my gun and the surface that I was spraying. So I closed the distance, I um, turned up the pressure a little bit, and there was no more micro bubbles. So it's kind of interesting. I thought it was originally related to, you know, outgassing, you know, of the surface. Now I have run into 
um, lacquer. So we um, did lacquer undercoater on a bunch of doors. It was completely cured. Um, it was, they'd been cured for over a month. We came back and top coated them with multiple 2K polys testing them. And it was getting micro bubbling in, um, on, in the top coat. And it was, it was interesting. It was a, a reaction with a 2K poly over a lacquer undercoater. And um, it would bubble across the entire surface, micro bubbles, and we couldn't get it to stop. And the only thing I would suggest is don't put a 2K poly over a lacquer undercoater. I, I didn't see an issue ever with Ben, which is a shellac based you know, um, product, but um, we used a, it was Sherwood high build lacquer undercoater that was reacting with our 2K poly causing micro bubbles. Bantam Zero says micro bubbles is laying it too heavy. It's hybrid acrylics like advanced can cause micro bubbles if you don't let it gas off a bit between coats. So if you're doing your mm -hmm. coats too soon to each yeah. other. So it's interesting. There's a yeah, and and he's got a good point. That's another there's it's interesting. There's a lot of different like nuances that can cause micro bubbling. There was um a gentleman that came, you know, here for a demo day at Miller Payne. I was and he brought his E D sixty five and it was causing micro bubbling every time he was spraying it. And what I noticed with his E D sixty five, you know, it it always runs and it vibrates and it's causing like it's it's foaming around the edges of the um E D sixty five. And to me that, that could cause micro bubbling, you know, um the sprayer causing it, but it um it was it was we couldn't replicate it when he brought the the sprayer um i would see it you know the, it foam in the sprayer but we couldn't get it to micro bubble on the surface and he was completely baffled because he said every single time he ever sprays with it it micro bubbles but then they all typically pop but so this guy said he agrees with off gassing dry to sand is not enough time for top coat 24 hour dry time so that's the thing is you know it, it all depends. So what was really interesting with the 2K poly we were spraying on this lacquer undercoater, um, it was it was months. We had actually lacquer undercoated all these doors and they were for um, our class, for our student class. We set them aside. They, they were 100% cured, 100% dried. We came back. So we knew it had nothing to do with putting a 2K poly over the top of an uncared service and it still micro bubbled really bad. And I actually um, took photos of it and put it on social media and showed people and Brian Barosio was here you know with me who's an expert you know when it comes to 2k polys and we were both looking at it completely baffled and had no answer for why it did what it did it was um just absolutely incredible so it was something to do with the reaction of the lacquer or you know something underneath the surface there was multiple coats of lacquer on these um, doors but they were uh, I mean, it could, there were some of them that were even sprayed over a year ago with a lacquer undercoater. So, so there's there's mysteries. There's, there's always problems to solve and figure yeah. things out. So we have another case of tape to give away, and then so let's do that. People are just now joining us. How do you win a paint line hanging rack? So we're giving away. So this month's big giveaway. So Paint Line Supply Co. is giving away a PSDR system. So that's the the hanging system. How to spray doors hanging that paint line. Um, the paint line it actually created. It's an uh, absolutely amazing system. How to make money spraying cabinets. So we're giving away one of those um, setups you have to go like you can go to paint like members that's our private facebook group you can go to the facebook group idaho painter you can go to linkedin you can go to um pen or um instagram look at the profile somewhere you're going to find the link you're going to see the giveaway there's going to be a link that um, is going to take you right to you know our platform that manages our giveaways which is gleam and so the, the platform manages the giveaways it doesn't auto select. We have nothing to do with the We're gonna announce the process. winner of the ED. The ED sixty five tonight. 655. Ooh, 655 tonight. So um somebody won that sprayer um last month. Um the month before that we gave away a sander. The month before that we gave away a Titan four ten. 
So our um, goal is to give a, something away every month. So you have to follow and you have to we'll give a couple see what we're doing. Gift cards away tonight too. Um, so we're going to do the frog tape case. Do another case. Give another so case. So why does anybody away. want frog tape? You have to let me know. Because the only way I know is you tell me. So that somebody said, oh, members only. So Paint Life, Paint Life members is a private group that... Anybody can join. All you got to do is go there, um, answer a few questions. Um, I've got four amazing moderators that help me moderate the group. And um, you can get in the group. And that's where if you have a question about painting, you're going to get professionals answering your questions. Uh, multiple people are going to answer your questions. Safe place to go. We don't tolerate any nonsense there. Um, so um, only people that are, you know, want to help each other out. And um, this is a place where you can share your projects. Um, people are going to pat you on the back. It's an awesome place. So Paint Life Members is a private group. Idaho Painter is um, our Facebook page. That is not a private group. You can just get on there and say whatever you want. Um, so the link is um, there. Um, the link is in our Pinterest. It's in our LinkedIn if you use LinkedIn. Is it on Paint Life? Supply Co. On Paint Life Supply Co. Um, Instagram and Facebook. You're going to find, it, I mean, it, it doesn't take very long to find the link on how to enter the giveaway. So, so um, you want to make sure you enter it because you can't win unless you leave. So it's pretty simple. So um, I picked a winner. Question? Okay. William Stevens. William He's Stevens. He's doing a job that requires a lot of tape. And he said there he loves go. watching your videos and learns a lot from you. So how does he get the case of tape? So go to paintlifesupply.com. That's um, the store owned and operated by my family. My two daughters um, run the store. Go down the right-hand corner. There's a little chat icon. That's where you actually get your questions answered by us. If you're shopping from our store, you need help. We're going to give you the help that you need. So we're all about support. So um, go there. Say what you want. Um, we're going to verify you're the winner, and then we're going to get your address, and we're going to get you your case of tape. So, um, so, uh, so blue frog tape is great for taping trim if you use pro classic semi gloss. So I'll, I'll I'll talk a little bit about. I mean, there's all these different frog tapes. There's orange frog tape, um, green frog tape, and blue, a new one. blue frog tape. Sure there's a new one um, available at Sherwin Williams that's made for. Um, those self-cleaning paints that tape won't stick to. And so it's only available at Sherwin Williams. But what's the difference between just the major players, which orange, green, and blue? Orange doesn't have the polymer on the outside of the tape. It's more their production tape. So it's a lot less expensive. Uh, paint can still bleed underneath the tape. Um, the, the green and the blue have the polymer on the outside of the tape that actually swells up and seals the tape so no liquid, um, i.e. paint, will bleed underneath the tape. What's the difference between the green and the blue? The blue is packaged in um, bulk packs, so like four packs for contractors and not individually packed. So you save um, quite a bit of money by not paying for the plastic containers that protect it. So those containers actually are really nice. They protect the, the tape because if you literally, if you drop the tape in wet grass, the outside edges of the tape but are going to swell up. But what do you use so that the tape doesn't fall on the grass anymore? Uh, I use a tough gas. So tough gas. A tough gap, if you're using frog tape, um, you've got to get a tough gap. Um, people see me wear it on my belt. That's why I hang my tape. The tape's not going to get, it's not going to fall on the ground. You're not going to step on it. Stepping on frog tape is not a good thing. Dropping in wet grass is not a good thing. Leaving out in the rain is not a good thing. So um, protect your tape and wear a tough gap. And that's the easy way to access your tape. It's always on your side. Um, if you don't have one, it's like the Linbite scraper. It's a must have tool for painters so so um we need to give away one more quart of aqua coat another quart of aqua coat so, so um if you're just joining us let us know why you'd want to use aqua coats and you could explain what it's for so uh, aqua coat i've tested over the years um a lot of different grain fillers out there and there's nothing simpler and easier to use than aqua coat aqua coat is a water-based um uh, product that fills grain. There's other products that, you know, are um, like mineral spirits based and they're just nasty, nasty, breathing, nasty dealing with. Aqua coat, you can get it on your hands. It just washes right off. It washes off your tools. It dries super fast. 
Um, it sands super easy. It can go over the top of painted surfaces. It can go over the top of bare wood. And it's um, great. Two coats of that over um, oak cabinets, um, that old ugly style oak, um, golden oak, will fill grain like nothing else that you've ever used. And it's an absolutely amazing product. I love it. And um, if you want your oak cabinets to be you know, top notch, you got to give it a try. And a little goes a long way. It's like a, a quart of aqua coat is going to do probably three sets, full sets of kitchen cabinets. So it goes a long ways. And basically, aqua coat is just solid resin. It's what the, is what in um what the base of actually paint is the resin that's in paint um that's what op coat is based on basically it's just solid resin that has white tint in it so you're skimming on it used to resin. be clear and you like you can still get it in clear but then when you put clear on and it dries you have no idea where you just went and what needs to be sanded so if you get little ridges and stuff like that all of a sudden you spray your top coat on and you miss sanding those um then it's kind of sucks. So um, you can see everywhere the aqua coat is after it dries and you know exactly what to say. Mm -hmm. So um, I was just gonna say, I was gonna give it to somebody and somebody's like, I'll send you a gallon. So. Um, I definitely don't need a gallon. I've got a whole bunch, but um, somebody says I like um, the aqua coat to try on my bathroom cabinets. Let's see, I'm always interested in trying new products. Just did a uh, job required multiple coats universal to seal grains. Would love to try it. Um, that's Snowy's. Um, let's see, do we got any questions? I got Brazilian walnut to coat with aqua coat for an outdoor project. So you project. pick the winner. So aqua, the aqua coat can be used indoors and outdoors. You can pick it. Okay. So um, let's give it to Candice. P O L U T. Candice. Candice. Um, how does she get it? So go to paintlifesupply.com, go down to the chat icon, let us know, Candice, what you want, and we'll verify that it's you and we'll get it sent to you. We'll get your mailing address from you. So um, somebody wants to know where do you get aqua coats and is that the same stuff you use on bad exteriors? No. Um, I'm not the, on bad exteriors. We're probably talking about peel bond mm -hmm. um, or triple thick primer. Those two primers I use on every single exterior I paint. And that stuff is absolutely amazing too. That's completely different than Aquaco. Aquaco is specifically um, for filling grain. Um, XIM peel bond and rust -Oleum triple thick are amazing products that if you've never used them for priming exteriors, especially peeling paint and um, cracking paint, stuff like that. Bear, it can go on bare wood, it can go on anything. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you've got to give it a try if you've never used it. So, so why don't you announce the winner of the ED655 um, and then um, to let uh, you know if you want to have a chance to win the paint line drying rack, we are going to be giving that away um, this the end of this month. And so you need to go to our Instagram, to our Facebook, to Paint Life Supply Co. to enter to win, and you'll have a chance to win. But I think Chris is looking to see, to announce the winner of the ED655 that I got to mail tomorrow. Um, so it was, we had, and like I said, we have a um, service that draws the winner, and the winner was drawn by Gleam, and it was um vince amato vin amato so he has an instagram i think it's at vin amato 103 he was the winner of the titan ed 655 so, so thank you for being um, with us vince is it vince it's it's vin so his instagram is at vin amato 103 i'm pretty sure it's vince amato so, so vince thank you for being with us and i will be getting that mailed out to you tomorrow so, and so also we wanted to let you guys know also, if you're just joining us, these hats, it's paint life. They're $10 off at our store this week. So if you want a paint life hat and $10 off, go to paint, paintlifesupply.com. And then what else is on sale this month? The Lynn bike scrapers. So, um, 
you always need to buy blades, you know, when it comes to Linbite scraper. So if you buy a scraper, you're going to get three blades for free. So that's going to save Aren't you. Are the blades like reversible? So it's like six? They are. So you got two sides of the, the blade and they're solid carbide blades. So they're absolutely amazing. Uh, if you've never used a Linbite scraper, um, it's just simply a tool you got to have. I'll use it for uh, getting rid of runs and paint. Absolutely amazing. If you get a run, scrape out the run and um, then use um, like denature alcohol to smooth it out and you can reshoot it. Um, we're scraping exterior siding with it. Um, just it's something you use every single day. Um, the exterior you're working on right now, we're not working on it because it was snowing today in Boise, which it is was. absolutely crazy. We've been here so, 28 years. And it's never snowed in May since we've lived here. So, no. um, and it, it was snowing today. So we're not working outside. Um, so, but we were doing a lot of scraping. It was a 1950s um, duplex. So we're doing a lot of scraping on that thing. So, but we want to thank you guys for being with us tonight. We're going to go, what are you going to do? Hit the gym. So somebody said, he, um, I just bought the scraper yesterday and I didn't get the free blades. So I think the sale just started today, didn't it? I believe so. Um, did he, you could go onto the store chat and see, you know, if, if, and they could look at it and see. Yeah, you so. can, you go to the store chat where there's, um, we have an email address that McKenna, who runs our email support, um, we can figure that out for you. So um, if you're supposed to get your blades, you'll get them. So um i've been trying to send the chat brand it keeps telling me something went wrong uh, william steve um the chat um he, the chat icon i'm sure he's probably let me see i'll see if it's working myself i just know? received a chat so yeah so if you receive a chat it's definitely um yeah because i i've received um some chats myself so from people, the other winner the other winner so you just gotta go there. to the little chat icon on paintlifesupply.com yep and put it in there that you're the winner and we'll get your information so if it's not working you probably refresh your browser um also on our store we but, have a support um email yeah. so if you can't get it from there go to the support email and just send an email telling us that you were the winner and we'll get your information and go from there support at paintlifesupply.com so on the bottom right is is the chat icon so we're definitely getting people messaging us so it's definitely working i just got another message from somebody so it's working so it's probably um yeah we just got a message from one of the winners that um announced it so you got any other we got to give away no. We're good. Uh, we're not good. Oh. You're the goat. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for all the awesome content you produce. Um, we'll give away one gift card okay. for Paint Life Supply. So we'll give away. You can do that. A twenty-five dollar gift card. I'm going to try again and see. So yeah, just keep give it a try, Stephen Sars. Obviously, it's working on our end, but not your end. So can those guns get any bigger? So I was like, what I was reading it, I started thinking, what is what spray guns is he talking about? But he's must be talking about my arm, yeah, so. spray gun right um, here. Yeah, that one doesn't work. I got um a customer sent that back and um we sent him a new one. So that was a in inline gun that is not sealing. How long can I leave the frog tape on before I remove it? So um every, every frog tape has a different release time, so it tells you on the tape. Um, frog tape green has a 21 day release. Frog tape orange is um, a three day release. So pay attention to the release times because it is kind of important. Um, what's interesting is if, if you can see this window over here, that frog tape on that glass window has been on that window for about two years now. And so, and I keep testing it and it's still clean releases so that's off of the, a mirror off of a mirror so um frog tape green is absolutely amazing but what happens is if you go beyond the release time and you paint over it like if you use frog tape orange and then paint it over it left it on 
outside in the sun or something like that, try to pull it off five days later, it's probably going to splinter. So the adhesive begins to dry as soon as you take tape off the roll and make contact with something, the adhesive begins to dry. Um, UV light and heat begins to degrade the, the paper that the tape is made out of. And so it could splinter easy, the adhesive can dry, you know, on the surface. So um, it's interesting because I've seen blue tape be outside for over a year and still clean release. But, um, you know, the higher end tapes, you know, they are I'm, sensitive I'm to not going to tell you to, you know, use them beyond the, beyond, you know, that, you know, the release time, but I've seen them perform absolutely amazing. So I've been testing fog tape. I've had it on our floor right here for over a year walking on it. And um, it still comes up without splintering. So that was with the blue and the green. But each tape, um, typically every brand of tape also, each tape has um, a release times to it. And if you haven't seen my video, I actually did a video on YouTube um, not that long ago on tape release times. So if you go to Paint Life TV, do a search um, on our channel about tape release times, I specifically talk about all the release times of all Shirtex products and um, what they mean and how long you should go. So I was trying to end the show and you just keep talking and now there's some good questions. So now oh. I'm going to have you keep talking. Okay. So what's the best way to secure roof boots to thick wood shake shingles? That's a good question. So um, ask, so the, the roof boot itself um, is designed for asphalt shingles. Okay. So you, um, you, you have to actually break like the asphalt shingle. I used to roof when I was young. The asphalt shingle has a seal and it seals itself down so the wind don't blow up. So it's kind of like a tar seal. You have to break that seal um, and then lift it up, slide the roof boot up, screw it in, and then the roof boot is secured. Then that the asphalt shingle will sit back down on top of that shingle. And then when you're done, lift the shingle up without you know, breaking or tearing it, unscrew it, put it back down, and you can set the shingle back down down it's good to take like some henry's um um you know roof sealant um put a bead on there so it glues that that sh um shingle back down and even put a couple dabs of henry's over where those screw holes were also that's how you would do it with a um with an asphalt shingle now a root wood roof wood 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 roof is going to be a lot more difficult so you know um you know if you just screwed it right into you know the shake itself you're going to leave you know two holes but those holes would actually in reality when they get wet they're going to swell it's it, it's more likely not going to leak but um you're going to want to try to lift you know a, a shake and get but it underneath there and screw it down and um, then you're gonna have to unscrew it, get it back off, dab those holes with some type of roof sealant. And a, a wood roof is really difficult to work on. And- um, Kind of dangerous too? Uh, they're very dangerous, especially when they're wet. Um, I've experienced Pro that. Pro tip, don't um, go on them when they're wet. Yeah, power washing on a wood roof. I've um, found myself sliding down a roof on up three stories up. And, so I have two um, more questions and then we're cutting it. Yeah. So. Um, I don't even know off the research if a roof boot there, like you say, is designed for asphalt shingles, but I'm going to find out, you know, if, if they even recommend it on wood roofs. So that, that's a good thing to look into. So somebody wants to know, Matthew said, did the consumer Graco sprayer die painting that building? Never saw the follow-up. So the follow-up's going to still it's, come. It's coming. It, it still works. I, it painted um, the building. Yeah, I like um, held that trigger and made that little pump work. And it's kind of amazing. So um, it, it's a little like deceiving, like it, it actually painted the building. And oh. so um, it's a block building. So the finish um, doesn't really matter. The block building has been sprayed, back rolled many times and stuff like that. It, it put on a coat of paint. There's no question about it. Now, if you're very particular about the finish, that is being created, the atomization process, the gun that comes with that um, sprayer is a terrible gun. It's um, it's a four finger trigger gun. It's, uh, if it fell off a roof probably twice, it'd probably break, but it's spray paint. And um, so 
I'm amazed. Like I held on to that trigger and I put a smaller tip on and it was keeping up with it, but that small pump's not going to keep up with a big, big tip. Um, but I still haven't run a ton of paint through it, but it's still alive and kicking. So I'm um, so a one contractors say I have a job that I looked at today that has four different kinds of siding, cedar shake T 111 clapboard asphalt siding. What products do you recommend that can adhere to them all, especially the asphalt shingles? Um, How, why would you paint asphalt? The first thing that comes to my mind is Benjamin Moore Arborco. So Benjamin Moore Arborco is a solid color stain that's a self priming coating, and it's absolutely amazing. Asphalt you can, shingles. Yeah, you can. Um, so we've used Arbor coats on like when we're. Um, doing uh, wood sided um, buildings that have gutters and downspouts. We want it all to look flat and natural. It's self priming onto that metal. It'll go onto wood. It's self priming onto a painted surface. So if the wood was painted, which it shouldn't be, I I'm not going to paint it. I'm still going to go back over it with a solid color stain. So it's going to self prime over the top of that. Um, I've used it on concrete surfaces. So, um, you know, I would get the TDS, read the T, that's a technical data sheet, read a little bit about that. But I'm pretty sure and pretty confident that it's going to, and you would have to want a flat finish too. So solid color stains are a flat finish, but I've used um, Benj Benjamin or Arbor is the best I've used. Um, Woodscapes is another really good product I've had a lot of success with. Anytime I'm doing any type of like T111 siding, it's going to, or um, wood shakes, it's always going to be a solid color stain. If it's a long home, it's going to be solid color stain. And it's um, spray and back brush, spray and back brush. You don't want to just spray and leave it. It needs to be back brushed if you want a good quality, you know, coating um, to be put on there. This and, is Oh, Go. sorry. Go ahead. This is the last one. Okay, last Godspeed. one. Godspeed. Godspeed. Okay. So do you normally paint flashing on a roof if it's not been painted previously? Um, normally, yes. And um, because typically that... that and it, could, it hasn't been painted previously. It depends on what flashing we're talking about, too. Like the edge flashing that goes over the fascia. Um, if your fascia is black and the flashing is white... I don't want that little white um, line going along there. So I'm going to paint the flashing. If you got flashing coming up the siding that goes, you know, up the side of the house and you got your asphalt shingles, we mask off the asphalt shingles and we'll spray the siding and the flashing. So it's interesting if you don't paint the flashing, it could stand out really bad. If other painters have got overspray on the flashing and not created a nice line, it will look really bad too. And a um, brand new flashing, um, like galvanized flashing, has like this oil on it that makes it so um, it, paint won't stick to it very well. So if it's brand new, then there might be an issue with the adherence. But as soon as it's been on the roof, it's weathered a little bit, that coating is gone and you can paint right over it. And we've. Yeah, we okay. painted over like every house. I always want a nice clean line, so I mask with frog tape going up the roof line, and we um, we spray back brush the siding and paint the flashing. So, and I, and I did a video like two years ago um, showing that on a house that it's my solo series on a two story house I did that was really difficult, and the painters got overspray on the flashing and looked really bad. I shielded off the flashing, looked at it, looked horrible. And so then I masked it up, I sprayed the flashing black, and then I repainted the siding. So then the flashing was black that matched the roof and it made a nice clean look to it. So Okay. So um we are gonna get going. You wanted to give one $25 gift card. So you get to pick that winner. So you can look at the feed and pick that winner. I picked um, all the other ones. Um, they wanted to know about the lin somebody said about the Linbide cell. So the Linbide scraper, if you buy that. This week, you get three replacement blades free. So it's on our store. When you check out, you just type in the word blade in the discount thing. And then also our Paint Life hats, $10 off. Not painter, not PNTR, Paint Life. 
So every week on our store, we have different cells. So if you follow us on Instagram, paintlifesupply.com, you find out the cells and then find out what big giveaway we're doing for the month. And this month it's the PSDR. The PSDR. So if you want a chance to win the PSDR. So um, Godspeed said, you'll have to check it out on um, video name by chance. So it was my solo series where I went through painting this two story house and um, I went through the prepping process on um, the masking process. So it um, wouldn't be there. And it wouldn't be there, but it was when I was spraying the house. I was spraying the exterior that I um, sprayed the exterior, didn't like how the flashing looked, went back, painted the flashing with Rust-Oleum industrial enamel and got overspray onto the siding and then went back and rolled it. So you'll have to search in that series. I painted the house about two years ago. And so you'll have to search for it. And um, so, um, Time to pick a $25 gift card, a winner, and then we are off for the night. So but thank you for being with a us. A1 Contractors. A1 Contractors. A1 Contractors will give you a $25 gift card to um, Paint Life Supply Co. So and how do they get that? Go to our chat icon down at the bottom of the store. That's where you chat with us on our phones and get the support you need. Um, that's what we're here for to help you guys out. So um, go there, let us know what you want. We'll verify it to you and get you um, what you want. So um, th don't forget, you know, enter uh, the PSDR. We're giving away this month, uh, paint line PSDR, cabinet spraying and drying um, system. So it's absolutely amazing. So Look. if you don't have one, you need one. Thank you, all the so, well wishers for us being grandparents. It's amazing. Yeah, so big blessing yeah. to see your baby have a baby. I know that's pretty awesome. So my oldest daughter um, got our first grandchild. So grandson, grandson, grandchild. Yeah, mm -hmm. grandson, same thing. Do you want to <laughs> say want to say your little fun fact of who he's named after? Oh, he's actually named after me. So that's kind of cool. So if you didn't know, my middle name is Troy. So. My family calls me Troy. Fun fact. Oh, I want to see that car um, if it says that on it. And um, so his name is Troy. So it doesn't say, I actually made that car when I was like, uh, my daughter gave it to me to fix it. I made it like when I was 12. So that's one of his little toys. But so, you used to have. A fun fact again. So I, when I was 12, I had a um, toy business called Troy's Toys and Woodworks that I used to make toys and sell them at craft shows. And that was one of the very first toys that I made. And so that was, you know, because my family called me Troy. So everybody knows me by as Troy. And so his name is, um, his name is Troy. So he's, he's Troy Perez. So that's awesome. So I was yeah. honored. Yes, so that's his blessed. middle name, but that's what he's going by. Yeah, his name is Armando Troy Perez. Yeah, and, after um, his family. Yeah, after his family, and he's going by Troy. So, um, huge honor. Huge, huge honor. So, and, and what's cool is there was some toys that um, your aunt, your sister, gave to mm -hmm. our daughter, yep. and it had Troy's toys, yeah. and they're in his room, and so that's pretty cool. Yeah. So my sister, she had. Um, when she had her um, son, he played with all those toys that I made, and they still exist. And um, crazy yeah. all these years. So um, that was our, our little fun fact. But thank you. Being a grandparent is the best, it and is. we hope you guys have a great night. Have a great evening. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with us. And until our next live show, yep. where we give away until more stuff, time. we'll see you um, on Paint Life TV. Wow.